Whoops. I didn't mean to buy it, I swear. So, um, I had a lot of fun doing that vlog last week. Cat! Alright, come on. You did the funny in the shop thing, you can go now. I had a lot of fun <laughs> vlogging last week on our holiday, and it kind of reignited the artsy fartsy side. Um, I did used to do a bit of videography and photography and stuff when I was younger, when I had access to cool cameras and stuff, and then I became an adult and couldn't borrow and my friends and family's <laughs> cameras and stuff anymore, and so I didn't have one. That's why you're looking at the phone footage right now. That's why I decided to try and like supercharge my phone's ability to record vlogs. And it was good, but it was kind of wasn't super satisfying, to be honest. It did the job, but you know, just had to look for third party apps that allowed for manual focus and couldn't really find anything that worked. And you know, the shot the shots looked okay, but not great. There's not a huge amount of flexibility there. So I spent several days after that first vlog looking at um, websites for online, uh, good uh, good deals online for a DSLR camera. And kind of accidentally, not really accidentally, stumbled across a really good deal for... Yeah, it'd have to be at the bottom of the bag, huh? This. Oh, oh, oh yeah. The Canon EOS <coughs> 700D Twin Lens Kit. Man, so good. From my good friends at JB Hi-Fi. Um, I'll, pro I'll put a link down to the thing, the product that I bought, so you guys can have a look and look for your own deal. I should probably do this. This the camera's probably shaking because I'm rocking the table all around. Now this, you'd say it's an I'd say it's an entry level DSLR, um, but it's like a good entry level DSLR. It's probably slightly above entry level if I'm being completely honest. Um, the entry level ones are more like on the five to six hundred dollar range. I got this um, on special, like a really good special, for seven hundred and sixty odd dollars. Um, but the kicker, and the reason why I ended up going for this, is because it comes with this lens, a uh, second lens. Basically, this is a fifty-five to two hundred and fifty millimeter uh, lens that also comes <clears throat> with the stock. I think it's twenty, you know, eighteen to fifty-five. Um, lens that comes with the camera but um, as stock so I essentially got pff, arguably two lenses for the price of one because um, most other cameras in this kind of price bracket um, come with the one lens so yeah, here's the here's the box of the actual camera itself very nice and there's the stock 18 to 55 lens as you can see there uh, so yeah I mean if you look online you'll be uh, Entry level lenses will easily go for a couple hundred Australian dollars, and the good lenses, obviously, you can go into several hundreds or the thousands. You can, you can spend a lot of money. This is lunch, by the way. Mango, banana, oat milk, uh, vegan protein made from peas, I think, and raw cacao. Very healthy. Manual. Solution disc. <sighs> Need one for one of those for life. Am I right? And strap. Very important. Cables. That is half of the adapter. Um. Here's the stock lens. Eighteen to fifty-five. Like I said. Very nice. Looks like a decent quality lens. I couldn't help it guys, it was just, it was such a good deal. It was such a great deal and my very supportive partner, Mrs. K, who's just off, off shot, made me buy it, basically. She said she'd leave me if she didn't, no she didn't really, but she just is supportive and nice. Batteries, that I dropped. She's not even listening, I gave her a compliment, she's just like reading a book. What a chump. Charger. USB, That's one of like a million that I've got now. And this should be the camera body, haha. -ha. The piece of de resistance. Oh yeah, baby. Check it. Just look. Oh yeah, very nice. So now, a couple of main features that ended up making me go for this camera. The main one, and this is what separates it from a, like a stock entry level camera, is that the flip out screen. 
mostly, most cameras you'll get, entry level DSLR, just have that, but it doesn't fold out, it's just a flat LCD, um, and it reduces the flexibility of the camera by a long margin, in my opinion. Um, with it like this, obviously, you can take the shot just like this, put the camera in place, you can flip it out, like so, and then if you need to take a low angle shot, you twist it like such, and you can see what's going on, or obviously, conversely, like this, um, or if you're a vlogging douchebag like me, you point it at yourself and you can see yourself in the viewfinder and see if you're in focus and in a shot and all that sort of stuff. So very, very cool. All the stock standard stuff that you would expect. Um, microphone jack on the side. I might need to get a different mic because DSLR, so it'll be top mounted. I may, might be able to get it to slot in here, but look. Not... Oh. I might be able to make it work. We'll see. Um, and yeah, all that good stuff. Um, I'll do a, like a before after kind of shot so we can get a good feel for how this looks at least. It should have an internal microphone, but it'll probably sound like garbage. I know which I want to get basically the model up from this um, microphone, the Rode mic, the Rode Video Mic Me. Is that one? The Rode Video Mic Pro or Video Micro? It's basically the same mic, but it can top mount um, and then has the, the jack that comes down to the side panel place thing. Cool. Now, peripherals. Classic, just a good old SD card. 32 gig for now should suffice for the amount of shots that I take. Um, I'll probably just end up with a massive collection of these. And I did splash out for a big old $30 tripod. <laughs> now this, I think is more of like a desktop one. I don't think it's super tall. Mid-level, so it goes to that kind of size. I won't properly unpack it now. Hopefully this is all in focus. I can't see because I can't turn the viewfinder around on my phone that doesn't have a viewfinder. I'm not gonna use the selfie side, that's gross. Um, yeah, so that's it. Uh, I'll charge it up and hopefully later in this clip vlog thingy you'll have some nice pretty shots. I don't know. I'm at home. There's no particularly interesting things for me to record. Maybe in the backyard I'll get some like time-lapse tree artsy wanky shots. We'll see. Um, so that's all cool and vegan kosher. Uh, <laughs> now, I wanted to unbox these as well. These are very unexciting. But if I do it in a vlog, it might make me hold myself to this. So, I haven't exercised very much in years. Um, <laughs> because doing internet things and working an internet job and all that sort of stuff means you're a very non-physical human being. And look, I try to, I try to keep healthy diet-wise and that kind of thing, but <sighs> exercise is important. And I, ha I don't even have proper exercise shoes. For a few years, I've had basketball shoes, like basketball runners, whatever you want to call them, um, for ankle support. So when I occasionally go out and throw up a few basket balls, I don't destroy my ankles or knees too much. Um, but runners, running things. I'm, a, I'm I think I might even go for a run today. They're ugly as sin, but I got them on special, so they'll do the job. They will have cushioning, arch support. Stupid box. They will make my feet not hurt after I run for several kilometers. So. Doing that just as like a, a pact with myself and the internet peoples so I can maybe run. I want to try run very often. Like maybe like shorter distances nearly every day um, just to start getting some regular exercise in because I've put on a few kilos and I'm not that happy about it. So um, yeah, and I've got, a, I've got an app on my phone so I can actually track <coughs> how uh, like how much of a distance I've run, and I'll include them in uh, the vlogs. Maybe this will be several days worth of vlog too. I'll do like a whole week and then put that out. Um, and we'll see how far that I've run in that week. <laughs> I'm so screwed now. I've put myself on the line. <laughs> so there you go. Um, we'll call this here. Um, I'll snap my fingers momentarily, and hopefully we'll be cutting away to sexy DSLR footage after I've practiced with it and all that sort of stuff. I have a lot of other things to do as well. Uh, I have role for perception graphics to design and get over to Steven so he can stream them for us because um, he has good internet. I have to record some other stuff for the main channel. So it's a busy day and we did so much shopping. We spent hundreds of bucks on groceries and stuff and it's full on. So, no, it's fine, it's covered. Okay. Um, so, uh, finger snap and hopefully nice footage. Three, two, one.
I'm putting that in the vlog. What? That strut. You can't see it. Oh, I saw it. Oh, Ladies and gents, hello, I'm back. Um, I'm actually planning to keep this fairly short because checking the footage, I rambled for 10 minutes or so for that intro vloggy bit, which makes it not, which makes it bleh, too long of a vlog, basically. It is too long of a vlog. I need my phone. Hang on a sec. Okay, great job. Hi, Russell. Oh. Now, you can probably tell I'm an absolute... I keep looking at the camera. This is like all new to me, that viewfinder. I'm very new to depth of field and stuff, but I'm a sucker for it. Oh my God, look, look at the blurry background. Look, I can just go here. Oh, I'm so out of focus. Oh, it's so good. Man. But I'm back after my first run and it was terrible. I suffered so badly. Um, I might overlay it in like some part of the run thingy, but... Why did I decide to do this? Dying. Uh, I forgot to take my uh, asthma inhaler before I left, which made it all the more difficult. But I did finish it. I went for about 20 minutes. I struggled very much. I walked. Look, I walked for a lot of it because I'm so desperately unfit right now. But I still did it. Oh, also, sorry. Camera audio, not my proper microphone audio. Uh, but this is the new camera. This is how it looks really awesome and stuff. And I had to crank the exposure because it's weird yellow lighting in here. But that aside... Okay, so I ran 2.4 kilometers um, in 18 minutes, which means I averaged seven minutes, 33 seconds to the kilometer, which by any and every stretch is pretty atrocious. Uh, I am not in shape. I openly profess to that, but on camera, here we go. I'm saying it, I'm doing it. We're gonna review, today's Sunday. Let's review next Sunday. Uh, I will finish this vlog off um, and hopefully have a log full of activity of stuff that's happened. Um, and I'm saying it now in the vlog, so it holds me to doing it um, throughout the rest of the week. Hopefully I can get another three or four runs in and we can track and see how I have improved. So I just want to put that out there. I hope you're enjoying the shots. They look gorgeous to me. All those little, all that stuff you saw was just from around the house and in the backyard. I thought they came out really cool and, and like poetic and stuff. So I hope you enjoyed those and I'll catch you at the end of the week and we'll, we'll review the first week of jogging. But doom What's up, yo? How's it going? Um, I am recording this much earlier than intended for a couple of reasons. One, you'll notice this is probably still um, potato audio, basically. Uh, my new camera has arrived, sorry, my new microphone has arrived, but it's not here. It's I got it delivered to work, and I haven't been into work since uh, I ordered the microphone, so that's kind of annoying, but I had to get this done now because I'm just sitting on this footage and I'm not actually putting it out to the world of, of places where there's public people. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's kind of annoying, but say la vie, the next vlog will hopefully have delicious audio goodness coming forthwith. Yeah, I didn't go into work, and this is related to the whole exercise thing because um, I went on that jog and then the next day I didn't go to work. And that's not just because of general like malaise or fatigue or tiredness. It was because of the jolting action of, I know I'm jolting as I say this to ruin the shot, <laughs> the jolting action and probably just the general um, impact of the run um, really causes havoc with my neck and my back. Um, I do sometimes get this problem uh, when I play basketball, but I kind of expect it when I play basketball because I'm jumping and landing and impacting a lot. A lot of shock goes through the body when I'm playing basketball. That's fair enough, but I thought for a jog, I wouldn't have such an issue. But as it turns out, it was probably worse, if anything, because normally after basketball, I've correctly cooled down and I ice my neck and my back and I, I, um, yeah, I treat the area correctly so as not to, not to die. Uh, I didn't do that when I went for this run uh, as properly as I should have, and hence I've taken two days <laughs> working from home in utter pain. Um, I'm, I'm mostly better now, it's all good, but yeah, that was rough. That was real rough. So uh, I may have to find an alternative means of exercise, like for example, cycling or swimming or something like that, if I can be bothered. <laughs> which I should be, but it's just like, particularly swimming, like going to the pool and getting in the lane. It's just so much more fussing around instead of putting some sneakers on and running, you know, I'd rather just be able to run. So uh, another thing I will be doing is trying to investigate uh, exactly what is going on with my neck and back because a two and a half kilometer run, unless it's just general poor fitness, a two and a half kilometer run shouldn't be causing such a weird, like not, not seizure. It's not like it was cramped up, but it was just like um, tension. It felt really tight. 
um, and was causing like neck and back pain and, and stemming through to a, essentially a migraine. So that was pretty rough. I should have, I, think I need more, more of like a face shot. Yeah, there we go. Um, so yeah, it's kind of annoying. Um, but that's it. That, that, I just wanted to round out the vlog with that, that abrupt disappointment instead of, hey, look guys, look at my running log of all the running I've done because that didn't really happen. So that really stinks. But you know, such is life, we all move on and we all do more vlogs where I will keep you in a loop with the other comings and goings of the life of Kluger. Uh, a final word on the last shot because I was all like stoked about, oh my God, depth of field and all that kind of crap when uh, in fact, that was a terrible shot. <laughs> it, wasn't, it wasn't a terrible shot, but the lighting in there was too low. And then I tried to turn up the ISO to compensate. Um, I'm, I'm all in the camera to speak right now because I'm all excited about having a cool camera, but <laughs> uh, yeah, essentially the, the lighting was was dud in there and caused, look at my hair, it's stupid, stupid viewfinder paranoia. Um, yeah, the lighting was crap, but look, the, the, the words from my mouth were still uh, important, but the shot was bad. So don't take that as, um, as uh, Canon, I suppose, pun, because this is a Canon camera. <laughs> Well, the, um, the stuff this camera can do, because it's a really freaking good camera. Um, and hopefully I was demonstrated by the fancy interim artsy-fartsy shots. So, um, <coughs> excuse me. So there you go. Um, yeah, more vlogs to come. Uh, I've got some other stuff to talk about uh, regarding the channel and those sorts of things uh, coming to you in the near future. Uh, hopefully Conan as well sometime soon. So, um, I'll leave it here. I hope you enjoyed this vlog, uh, and I'll see you again real soon.